job has to be done. So I assembled the brush for the chimney and Sarah is doing the cleaning. We are actually going to take all the ash out first. Then on the upper corner there's actually those two plates. You can see we're gonna take those off. They are actually the second burning chamber and after that we can clean the chimney. And for the cleaning we are protecting the surrounding area so paper towers. Ash bucket. This is our ash bucket. <laughs> yes, the ash bucket is full of ash. And actually it's quite full. We need uh, to empty it quite soon. Yes. But it's good that it's metal because uh, we can actually draw there also a bit warm or even... Hot embers here. So they don't there's no dang danger. Yeah. And we are using this tiny little shower that came with the cubic mini wood stove. So it's decent size. I will start just shoveling. Start shoveling. This is fun job. I love it. Some people think this is a mess, but if you think this is a mess, then you probably do not like any fireplaces. It's, it's not actually messy, as you can see. Yeah. So you can use just plain water and ashes and basically just clean. The window. Look how clean. Immediately. Clean window is a happy window. Next phase is to take out the plates. Second secondary burning plates. And they are actually quite tight. This one isn't. The lock burner is so tiny, you would need like a Barbie hands to operate it. Yes. So, these are the secondary burning. It's basically it's just a area where the, the fire burns or fire gas is burned second time. So, simple thing. Okay, now they both are gone. So now we have actually free room from chimney straight to the stove, so we can actually clean the pipe. The wood stove is great. You have to like service it like maybe once in a three to five months period and this took us a total of 15 minutes to clean up the flue pipe, take the plates and everything out and clean it totally. No problems at all. And it's not messy. As you can see we have actually opened the whole thing and it's not full mess around here and it's really easy to use and really comfy and I think that is the best thing that we have ever done. Yes, we love the tiny lock burner. Yeah, but yeah, now the service is done. We have to do it next time maybe somewhere in the winter time, maybe five months from here. Yeah, and we haven't had any creosite problems. There has been lots of talking about the creosite problem. And I think it's of course when you have one wall flue pipe. So the gases of the burner is not continuing to be hot enough in a flue pipe and then the cryosite problem starts. 
we have actually two walls and insulation between, so it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna just reassemble the wood stove and it's ready to go and we can actually burn again it and warm the van. Like parking lot basically. Yeah, so here's basically nobody after 8 p.m. and during autumn down maybe 6 p.m. nobody's here but uh oh there was actually some kind of uh, art installation expedition in here. Helsinki light. And the parking lot is full of people. Yeah. <laughs> but it's it stops uh, 10 p.m. so after that we will be here all alone again. Really nice. I do, I liked it. Some of them were like I a don't know. A bit crappy. Yeah, because they but were, at least it was free. So. Yeah, it was nice. To see. It was fifteen, I think. Different kind of installa installations. Yeah, when mm. it's really dark outside, it helps to see some kind of light. Yeah, some of them were really like a. Like a kid had made them. But yeah, just put some LEDs to the forest and name it as uh, art. Yeah. But some of them had like some kind of idea or something, but uh, most of them didn't. <laughs> <laughs> they were just putting lights to the forest and which looks good and that's it. Yeah, I don't understand art as you can see. Talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Bye.